Good evening and welcome back in our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle called Oxford by Night. My name is Lesha and I am kindly joined by Rose Hathaway, Rachel. Hello. Last time, what you remember was the scene at Malcolm Tate's villa on the outskirts of Oxford, am I right? Yes. And what happened was very quick and very sudden, as when Theodora Raj fell on the floor, woke up after a few seconds and said that somebody attacked jail. This moment you've been in the corridor upstairs, walking down from taking a fresh shower, still drying your hair when that happened. You didn't manage to say a word before the grenades with the gas start spreading along the whole house. Few sounds of broken windows, shattered glass, you could hear humans entering the building from many sides. You could hear the attack. Yet, someone caught you before you managed to do anything. You could feel but not see the hand on your mouth. Somebody grab you by your waist and pull you next to the wall and you saw yourself becoming invisible. Somebody shared his or her obfuscate with you. Mm -hmm. The hold, the grip that is on you is iron. You may try to release yourself, but after a few attempts you consider that pointless. You could see skinheads like men sometimes with a balaclava, but not always, searching the house with arms, with shotguns, with garlic around the heads. Definitely a vampire hunters, but definitely not professional. They move just next to you. The smoke covered most of the area. They start shout at each other, giving the each other commands and details. Kitchen clear, check upstairs, that kind of simple communication in between them that is based on shouting through the whole corridors, through the whole house. One of them shouted quite confident that they went to the cellar and you saw 20 people going out there. Well, the person that is holding you starts to slowly move towards the exit, to the completely different direction. Dragging you through the house, through the smoke. Whoever it is, it is in both of your interests, clearly, not to get you killed. In a manner of minutes, you are in a forest that is surrounding the villa. You can see maybe eight, maybe nine cars parked in the front 
of Malcolm Tate's house. The person released you in the forest while you are covered through the trees and bushes and definitely not visible or hearable by the invaders. As much as I thank you for getting me the hell out of there, I would like to be able to see you and know who I'm dealing with. The smoke, white smoke, appeared and turned into the shadows that moved aside from the Nosferatu, a woman Difficult to say the age, but she's definitely been rotting for decades. You can see... Darling. A wig with the hairs, long ears, scampy clothes, now barefoot. With the nails rotting flesh all over her body. As much as you thank me. Our oh, darling, isn't it? Yeah. I wasn't expecting to see you again, I've got to be honest. No one did. And I prefer to live it like that. Come with me. <laughs> if you want to live. <laughs> See where you Nos can get your sense of humor from. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I can't really go back in there, can I? Sense of humor uh -huh. is... Coming for decades, my love, it is. Where are we going? To the grandpa, obviously. Um, yeah. Looks like I'm coming with you. I. You could either dart or to become a doll for those brutes. Yeah, I'd rather not keep dealing with them. I suppose. I've had enough yeah. gunfire for one night. She moved quite a large stone in the middle of the forest and present to you the entrance to the sewers. Oh. And you just get bad, again. haven't you? <clears throat> yes. Well, you don't work as long as I do in kitchens without getting dirty, so let's do this, I suppose. I would say ladies first, but you don't know the way. We'll try to catch up. I think I could manage. She jumped in to the hole, to the manhole as they call it. You went with the with the ladder that was provided. Yet for another fifteen or twenty minutes, there was a lot of noises that you were tempted to make. Because sometimes you would have to crawl in there. Sometimes you would have to just move on your hands, lying down. And it was a proper working, acting sewer system. With the working pipes, with breathing with fucking rats everywhere. 
not entirely sure what was the worst. The fact that you can see in this darkness quite clearly with your heightened sentence, senses, sorry, or the fact that she was in front of you and she didn't have a piece of underwear. This way or another, with barely closed eyes and distaste on every single angle, you stand up in a chamber that is clearly connected to some sort of sewer system offices. It's a electricity in here, there's lights. There are some sort of desks, uh, some wardrobes, metal one, lockers like. Uh, a board with, with many names, maps and phone numbers, a board, a computer, even a mattress. There are a doors leading to the bigger sewer system, the city one, and a telephone. The room is, is quite big, suitable for at least three, four people to have a break in here or to work constantly as in an office. Yet here and there, there's a reading from the walls or from the roof. The lights are covered by the cages. She sat down on a desk, put her leg over another leg. Grab her handbag and start playing with some small knife with her nails, cleaning them. Like, you just literally went through the shit and she's cleaning her nails. Well, you're safe. Isn't that good? Yes. I take it you know this place well. Of course, of course, yeah. yeah. One of my hideouts. I've got okay. hundreds of them. <laughs> now, I think you owe me some explanations, fledgling. Fledgling, I'm not sure how many explanations I can really give you. There's not a whole lot I know. That's bad. So yeah. Let's say you're gonna do your best. Always do my utmost best. Something took control over me. What was it? I don't know much about what appears to be magic at the end of the day. But it all seems linked <sighs> to me. And I don't, I know I wasn't the one who did it to you, but there seems to be a phrase that keeps cropping up. Who's the boss now? Or something similar in when it's been uttered elsewhere and it definitely seemed that something had taken over you when i met you with malik where is malik i can lead you to him not far away in fact, we can walk out there now and talk on the way. She opened the doors, which leads to the sewer system that you don't have to kneel anymore. You can just go on a sidewalk on a, on a pavement that is next to the river of dump. She starts walking, holding the walls from time to time like she's drunk or dizzy. Oh, this is just how she walks when she's in a mood, you don't know, difficult to say. 
So why did I want to kill this Malkavian? Which Malkavian? The doctor. The doctor? I don't know why you would want to kill Dr. Georgios. He... As unhinged as he can seem, he seems to be the more harmless out of us. Whatever it was that took my brain, implement something in it, and I want it out. And many parts of me wants that guy dead, which I do not understand. None of it makes any sense. And like I say, I don't know how I can help you with this. I I barely even know any other kindred. That's not entirely true, isn't it? She stopped and she turned to you very closely. You can see her ugly, rotten face in front of her, your own eyes. In the darkness, in the sewers, which is not helping. Who do you think I know? At the moment, as we speak, the Sun Sentenced Cottery is the biggest cottery in Oxford, as the hunters are killing us one by one through the days. Why do you think I'm hiding? Hunters are led by the kindreds. It was always like that. This is why they are called the Second Inquisition. Because the first was also invented by the kindreds. To kill kindreds. But why? I... So everyone's better when I think I'm dead. This second Inquisitioner after the Sun Sentence Coterie, which I am a part of. I didn't even think we were that big. Or are the Coteries just very, very small? Or are there people that I don't know? Oh, Kindred. darling, darling, darling. Kindred <laughs> too are turned to ashes every day. There are less than three, maybe four dozens of us left in the city. So we must be a pretty big coterie then if there's not many people left. <laughs> and I'm thinking about all the kindreds, not only Camarilla. So. Oh. So Camarilla and, and Anarchs and combined and, and Church. Church of the Church of the Golden Gods. Is that where we were at? is that where we were? Church we keep hearing that phrase, Church of the Golden Gods, the moths and butterflies and I know something about those. They surround Malik. They have Malik. They had Malik. But I came to rescue him. Too late, I'm afraid. She 
approach the doors with the pin lock inside the sewers. She typed it with one thumb, and the doors magnetically opened. She entered first, holding the doors for you. And in front of her, your eyes, you can see some sort of military base camp full of screens with CCCTV, weapons, rocks and, and crates with weapons, plenty of garlic, holy water, crucifix, and on the very top of it, in the next room, you can see a light of sunlight starting to appear, which indicates that the soon a day will fall. Yet, this low stream of light is pointing on the ash figure ash statue of Malik chained to the wooden pale slowly falling apart with every breeze that it comes well that's definitely not good how did... Oh my... How... Was this the same people? Yeah. Yeah, it was the same. Sorry, there'll be repercussions. He was... What was it? An, an Archon or something? Surely that meant something to dust him. They sunlight at him. She sat down in the same room next to the wall and then she just fell on her ass as she was standing. I located them and slaughtered them. Yet it didn't matter. Thing about loss. Revenge won't bring them back. What about the kindreds that are in charge of these hunters? I don't know the names yet. Do we know which side they reside on? Or are, their own, are, are they on their own side against everyone? Well, they're killing the Camarilla and they're killing the church. So it must be the Sabbat. I don't know much about the Sabbat. When I've asked, I've been told not to ask questions. That's bad. Because I know who is your side. And I know his connections. Brutally honest, darling, because I don't think lying would do me much good right now. After all, I've seen how powerful you are. I'm not powerful. I'm just desperate. I could only recall the face of my sire before being kidnapped by those Ugh, cretins. And 
until then I'd been in the dark. Other than a, Mal a different Malkavian saying that someone that was said to be my sire wasn't my sire. I don't know how he knows that. What I'm worried about is something completely different. Some puzzles doesn't fix to the box. Do you recall his face? The primogen Oliver. Is that right? Oliver. Yes. Now you, now you say his name. It... I tell you something, darling. Oliver is the primogen of Camarilla. And he does not need a permission to embrace. He's the leader of the Toreado clan in Oxford. Which come to the simple conclusion. What have you done to become a son sentenced? I don't know. What did what did others do to become son sentenced? You're local. You're important. You're well known. And you embrace yeah. with the permission. Along with the traditions, so that makes sense mm -hmm. why you landed in a cemetery with all of the rest. Unless Prince Cray. Got you to be a member of the Sabbath. and sentenced you to die. And you're supposed to end up here. She looked at Malik. Not him. You were unsentenced. Not unrested boy. Are you with us? Which us are you referring to now? Which side you stand with? Even know what I was signing up for. Sign up. Just... When I was given what little choice I had, I was told to I would be a cog in a machine, but that it would give me what I wanted. Did they give you it? No way near. I don't know who to trust. I don't know who. <sighs> it's not time for those. She stood up. She grabbed you and she tossed you on the pail that Malik was attached to and you crushed the statue of the ashes you landed in his ashes that starts to flew in the air 
You are officially now covered in Malik ashes. I don't want to become like this. Be more specific. I don't want to meet this end. No one I don't does. want to be sun-sentenced. And what you want to be? You are nothing but a tool in the hands of the Sabbath. You should never leave the cemetery. She took out the stake and she stuck herself in the heart and fell down in the very front of her. I do apologize, my dear. You can hear the voice of Olivia. He just entered the room. There's the sound of his shoes with the heels. You can see him with the tissue over his face. Like appropriate way to dwell through the sewers for somebody like him. I knew that bitch is hiding. <laughs> Well, they're kind of good at that, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Are you all right? Better days and nights. <laughs> he offered his hands to help you lift up. I graciously take it. Well, it's been quite a ride since we last... Well, since I remember seeing you now. I know. This was... This was not what I was expecting. I know. But believe me, it's everything that you sign up for. You were prepared for that. You were prepared for not remembering. I didn't think I would kill a family. He grabbed you by your jaw, moved by your chin. There's plenty of important lessons I've got for you. And... Shouldn't we start? Yes, I certainly do have a lot to learn. Everything that's happened first, since the cemetery has taught me that. First, what you need to learn is either elders or us. We and them, we cannot exist together. Which is the reason why our father Cain gave us this power. He lived, darling, up, put her wrists in the chains that Mali statue was on, grabbed her by the wig, took it off and hold her head like this. It is going to be disgusting and it is going to be painful, but it's going to be worth it. What I'm going to show you, my child, is to how to end an elder. How to drown a soul of other kindreds. Consider that my gift to you. My little rose.
What? Why? Elders and us cannot exist. She is our enemy. She is the Camarilla Primogen of Nosferatu. <laughs> Fucking rat. They stand for everything we have. On top of that, she knows too much. They've definitely been putting pieces together. Exactly. So now be a good girl. And bite her. Bite her. The... The... The, 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 rot, the rotting... Nostra uh. <laughs> What will what will happen to me? And here I was thinking that you got what it takes that you're gonna do anything for the power that you need to kill your enemy. Or do you not want to end Dimitri? Oh, yes, Dimitri. Are you feel ready to fight with a werewolf? Ready to fight a werewolf? No, I can't say I am right now. Would this help? <laughs> it's a step forward. Oh, I suppose. Think about that. The next primogen you're gonna sank with. Your thanks, eh? It's gonna be definitely much tastier than this one. So it's a deep dive. Is that a promise? <laughs> a scout. Because I can imagine she kind of smells like that tinned fish that most people can't even be in the same room with. So, which to be fair, I have had to try, so can't be much worse than that. Enough of chit chat. I drain her and tie. You do not stop, no matter what. Because I will assume that's a weakness. And you do not want to show your weaknesses to me. I've picked you. As I believe in the strength that is within you. Prove me right. Our mother is looking. Make me proud, my No. At hearing him say, make me proud, I am reminded of Arthur, but then we want the power to make him proud and not give up as well. Psych myself up and bite into Darling while trying not to retch all over her while draining her. <laughs> As disgusting as this has skin when you kiss it, it's something between old chicken nugget and a fish. Just by biting it, you're sure you're not gonna... You're not gonna forget this one for a long time. Her blood is cold and far away from being tasting. 
Yet there is something powerful in it. Like the ugliness of her thoughts, of her soul. As you starting to take a glimpse on how does it taste a soul of the immortal being who is just about to be dusted, you can clearly say that her soul was even more ugly than her thoughts. As he sunk your fangs in and started to drain her, you could hear the screams of her victims when she tortured them, slaughtering them, limbs by limbs while they were still living, while she hunts those who were beautiful and destroyed the lights. She was a sworn enemy of beauty. Somehow, it might justify what you are doing. Tears, screams, meat. That what comes as the biggest experience of her blood. How to break the bones, and how to hear music when they're cracking. Everything in you wanted to reject. Let's see how your safe test works. was a moment when you could sense her no more, when your jaw closed with your teeth and whatever you had in your mouth was only ash that remained, her blood coursing through your veins unleashed your beast. Disgusted by you, but somehow happy and proud. Your beast turned around and stood still, looking into the beautiful eyes of your sire. Being mesmerized and putting to sleep again. Until you regain the control. He cleared your chin from her blood. Wiped it with his tissue. Then he put the tissue to the pocket. This is the strength that you need to defeat your enemies. This is the strength that I promised to you. I'm sure you can sense it. Oh yeah. Never felt... Ugh. I'll describe it. It feels good. He looked at the shine of the sun that came through. You do feel tired. I'm afraid we will be forced to stay overnight. To spend the day in here. And tomorrow I'll lead you to your friends. We're going to pretend that it's never happened. 
we never gonna discuss that again until the next time when you will feed on another one of those who promised to protect the interest of our family but hid behind my father's back. They betrayed their prince. They betrayed my father. So my daughter gonna ask them all. Have I met them yet? Some. Do I already know them? Some of them you might know very well. They in my coterie. I promise you. No son sentenced gonna become our victim. Who will be the next? You tasted the ugly blood. Why won't we go crazy now, eh? You up for it, my little rose? Will I... I felt whatever you could call what was inside darling <laughs> and to me does that mean that if we go the crazy route mm -hmm. that could yes you all feel hot <laughs> something's wrong with it Like having my faculties intact and, well, seeing some of the I'll crazier sure injuries. You will be fine. I will lead you step by step through the process. As you wish. So. Soon enough. You will taste Crazy Eyed Joe served on a silver plate in the best restaurant in town. Are you up for it? Killing. Everything I do now, hmm. I want more. The correct answer I'm ready. is yes, my sire. Yes, my sire. Good. Learn that way. And you will never be angry again. He showed you a sign, covered by the darkness. In some sort of a cage. Where you were able to go to sleep. During the day. It was the first time in your own life when you fell asleep, not hungry at all. But the dreams were not yours. You came back to the slaughterhouse of your previous victim. And all day 
You were munching those bones and meats, grinding people in a meat maker. Well, combining this experience with your chefing skill, it's clearly dangerous. And it's explain why you are the way you are. Thank you all for joining us. And we will catch up with you soon.